you are learning power bi and you want to learn advanced concepts you want to know how to apply the concept you have learned as a beginner in power bi then this is the series for you so watch this complete series know how various concepts can be applied to achieve different different results subscribe to the channel hello and welcome to another video of abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss a use case where we have data which is basically having ranges now this data what we want basically uh, can we you know take this data and distribute it monthly or daily but we don't want to use tables we only want to work with major that's the first thing which we want to do and uh, so what we are going to do is we're going to take this data to power bi and let's try to solve this problem now i'll go and I'll add this data as an enter data. So if I want to share the file so that you don't have to search for the Excel sheet. And uh, I pasted this data and this is how you paste data from Excel to Power BI. We basically you copy it and then enter data and you paste it. And then you say load. Data is loaded to Power BI. Let's quickly have a look at it. The data type and everything is correct now. So this is correct. This is, you know, the data type is whole number. These two are dates. Now, one more thing which I need uh, along with this is I need uh, basically a calendar or date table. So what I've done is I've uh, kept one code handy. So this is my common code, which I create date table, which you can get from my blog. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create another table. So let me click on a table. I got the table tools. I say new table. And what I'm doing here is uh, I'm creating a calendar of 2020 because most of my date is in 2020 from January to December. And this is my calendar. And then I use add columns on top of it. And I'm adding like month number, month of date, year, which is year of date and the month year, which is formatting MMMYYY. Now this is not going to sort. So I'm creating a month year sort, which is year multiply by hundred and then adding the month the date. Then similarly quarter year, quarter month and month sort. No, no. I don't need all of them, but yes, just uh, creating a standard calendar. So I go to the month here and then I do a sort column on month here sort. So when I'm going to use it, it should work fine. Now, first thing which I'm going to tell you is, you know, creating a basic major and how to use that. Okay. And so I need to plot two visuals basically, but before that, as usual, I, we mark our date table as a date table. So I go to date table and say mark it as a date table. Now what happens because I have not created any relationship between these two tables. If I try to have some data between these two, so it will either be a Cartesian or it will error out. So if I put something from here, let's say name, then it will error out because there is no relationship. So right now I'm not able to put, and then I need another one, which is month here. And why I'm bringing into, because I want to show you that both the cases would be a little bit different. Now what here I also want is basically the distribution of values. So if you look at my data, if you see here, this is, this is sometime is not complete month, but in spite of that, not having a complete month, if it is across two months, I want to distribute it in two months or sometime maybe I want to distribute it daily. So two cases are there. You want to distribute it across the month, month wise, or then you want to distribute daily. Now one way is you distribute it daily and then uh, roll up from there to any level. That's the easiest way. Uh, but in that way, equal distribution of month would not be there. So we'll take up two cases. Now let's bring in the first one. So how we are going to build up a major for this. So to build up a major, because we don't have a join. So we need to make sure that the, we do the necessary join in our major. So let's say total value. Now what we are going to do for total value is basically sum X. And then we are going to use data table. So, but I want to fill, use a filter data table. Now, what filter I'm, I would like to use here is basically data start date should be less than or should be greater than or equal to min of date of date or max of date of date. Now, in case of month, this is going to become end of month if I, when I'm taking max. And data end date is less than or equal to min. Uh, let me say max and I'm going to tell you the difference why I'm going to do a little bit change here. Date of 
state okay so i do this so this is now i'm I, i'm i'm joining with this one so between the range you should be there and then when i say well value right now i'm not dividing value by anything i'm just bringing the value as is okay so what do you will see the moment i bring in this one here let's see why it's we might have so start date is less than and equal to and end date is greater than and equal to so the join is wrong so start date should always be less and uh, end date should be always be greater so that's what there you you will see this value is repeating and you you may or may not get a grand total now that's depend okay uh, so there is no grand total but let me bring in name into this visual so i got name here and i got a name here of this visual also now you can see the value which is 2000 which is repeating 4000 4000 12000 these values start repeating now here in the second one what you see here is the problem or you will also see that you know uh, and let's to make sure that name is first and then we sort on the name and then you will see here there is no problem you know this is still 30th okay so this is till 30th this is till 30th there is no problem but here the second month is not coming okay let me bring in as the first one and then you will see that the second month is not coming actually if i sort on the name the second month is not coming because in our formula we have used this greater than now i use a min here now what is happening the end date is governed by the start of the month and the start date is governed by the end of the month so because of that now i am getting getting both the months here here also i am getting both the months now even if the months are not complete i am getting complete month now the the thing which is different here is the same value is repeating now i have two choices i either it i divide it by day and then use it or i divide it by month and then use it and both the approach would be little bit different so let's first do the day approach correct that and then come to the month approach it would be very much similar to it so we'll say divide now we know the values uh, which we need to divide so in the divide what we need to do the bottom part is basically date diff and those who only want to divide it by network days so you have a function network date okay so you take data start date always take the small date first then end date data end date day it's going to come zero for the first day so i always add plus 1 to it and my divide is complete and then i say this okay now let's not look at the month part of it right now so total value day level seems to be correct but the grand total is not correct okay because of what is happening again the grand total is not getting that context where it is now so it, it is doing the calculation at the data level so data table level it is doing the calculation which you already divided by number of days so that's the only level from where it can sum it up so basically it is summing up these four five rows divided by the days now how do i force um, the date also because we have divided by date so we have to force date in this formula and that is the reason why now so now division is one thing which is creating difference now second thing is where you are distributing from there you need to aggregate so let's put a sum x one more and say values date of date and then comma calculate because we have done now calculation so we have to use a calculate so any time you do some kind of calculation then use calculate now let's see now this number is again matching 22000 is the number which is we are looking forward so if you even go to the table and try to sum it up so it is uh, 10000 plus 12000 is 22000 so we got the same value but this month one now see look this month data looking pretty much correct okay it, this is the day level distribution so from the day level distribution the month works okay anything which is above month level uh, above day level will work but what happens if i want this equal distribution now you see in the second case the distribution is not equal even in the third case is the distribution is not equal now some of you has asked this problem like the distribution should be equal so in the both the months distribution should be equal so one thing we already adjusted in this formula which the which we created the first time is basically we made sure that even though the it is not ending at the month uh, then also it is considered but now the next thing is basically um uh let's uh, go ahead and you know make sure that it's happening only the month distribution okay so we only want the month distribution so we need this formula let's replicate this formula now 
and we say total value let's say month we create a new formula month and here what we are going to say we are going to say this is month the difference is in the month and this also is a month okay and let's bring in total value month so thousand thousand two thousand then we have this two thousand four time which is uh, eight thousand which is two thousand ten thousand and then we have three thousand four time which is twelve thousand total is twenty two thousand okay so we got the number which is again same now so little bit of difference but now what was going to happen i can't use this formula into the date level now look at this one so date i can use date and above but i can't use month on the date level is not going to give you a proper picture now but if you need the month level value at the date level and want to do some kind of calculation between these two values you can do it now similarly now month can roll up to quarter now let's bring in the quarter here if i go to the quarter year i can have this total value as well as the total month value now these values would be little bit different now if i bring in name here now depending on which quarter they are falling in okay a is only one okay now you see the value is not coming no the value is coming but we have the sorting okay so 2000 because it's falling across two quarters then we have 8000 and then we have 3000 and 9000 because the monthly distribution is there it's not equal distribution amongst the quarter and these values are again going to sum it up but there's a little bit of difference between the values here which is again summing up to 12,000 only okay because of the rates so you know now from the day level we are able to roll up from month level also we are able to roll up to the quarter level fine so go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you